I want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about Adidas, Valencia, everybody cutting ties with ye. But is ye now a free man? First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. But also, comment on this video. Kanye West's career seems to be over when it comes to dealing with major companies. We see that Adidas, a company that last year he made $1.7 billion with, cut ties with. And we see multiple companies like Valencia, Foot Locker, and The Gap cutting ties with Kanye West. Kanye West, they said, made incendiary comments when it comes to anti-Semitism. But if Kanye West removed some words, he would still have all his brand deals. Instead of saying something about the small hats, if he would have just used the word white supremacy or white man, he would still have those deals. Hell, he still had those deals after White Lives Matter. He still has those deals with slavery was a choice. He still had those deals after saying anti-black rhetoric because those in power did not care what Kanye West was saying. If he said negative things about black people in general, they wouldn't have canceled Kanye West because those in power don't care about black people. But his biggest mistake that you can make in Hollywood and America today is two groups that's off limits. That's the Jewish community and the LGBTQI community. And once he crossed that line and he wasn't saying anti-black rhetoric, but he started saying anti small hat of Jewish rhetoric, he became bubbly enemy number one. And you see how quickly they came together like Voltron to take everything, I mean everything, away from Kanye West. First, it started with, you know, Bank of America, Jamie Dimon, where they said they will not do any financial business with Kanye West. Then eventually, all the other all the other clothing companies came together and said, we won't do business with him. But what Kanye West was trying to tell you, basically, is that he has dealt with these people for years. And he noticed when he was always in the room, it was just one group of people who was making a decision for other groups. And they happen to have small hats. Basically what he was saying, if you wanted to make, be in the music industry, and you were making music, it was the small hats who were determining what type of music was being put out. You see the music that's being put out today is a detriment to our community. And when they asked one of the small hats, Lior Cone, about why are you putting this type of music out to the youth in the black community, what did he say? My children got to eat. See, you have to understand what Kanye was trying to tell you, but most of you cannot comprehend it. White supremacy that everybody talks about white supremacy there is no white supremacy without jewish people see look at it's simple just look at who runs most of your top hollywood companies paramount disney Comcast. Look at who runs the music industry. Look who runs the adult industry. 
the porn industry. And they all happen to be Jewish. And there is no white supremacy without them. You don't understand. They hide behind their religion. But all the images that's put out by these major companies that are anti-black, anti-black male is put out by who? The small hats. Kanye West said there is an integral theme with white supremacy and the small hats. But you don't understand that. You think they just some separate group because they are not considered white, but they are. Everything starts to the top and goes down. Most of these major companies are run by them. And they perpetuate white supremacy. And Kanye is trying to tell you this. But you don't see it. They hide behind that veil. That Kanye is saying, you, he looked and he worked with these people. He's behind the scenes dealing with the 1%. And he said, he looking around, he said, yeah, they are white, but they, they, they choose their small hats. And they're the ones perpetuating the negativity in the black community. But no one speaks of it. Because they have the power to cancel anyone's career. Look how scared Charlemagne, Nori, Ebro, Talib, all of them. Petrified. of the small hats. That's the power they have. If he mentioned the word white supremacy, he would have everything. But he went straight to the top. And he said there is no white supremacy without them small hats. And he's speaking the truth. But you, you going to help them go after Kanye West because of the words he said. But today, as Russell Simmons said in a video, he said Kanye West is a free man now. He owes no company or no one anything. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, but also share this video.